boost your English with phrasal verbs, self-assessment techniques. Hello there, English language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dive deeper into the intriguing world of idiomatic expressions, specifically, phrasal verbs. Our focus will be on self-assessment techniques. This will empower you to gauge your progress independently, ensuring you're moving forward in your language learning journey. Self-assessment techniques are strategies that you, as a learner, can use to evaluate your own understanding and knowledge of a particular topic. In the case of phrasal verbs, these techniques can involve a variety of methods, from quizzes and tests to more hands-on, practical language use. The question you might ask is, why should we consider self-assessment? The answer is simple, it encourages autonomous learning. It allows you to recognize your strengths, understand your weaknesses, and plan your learning path accordingly. Moreover, it is a great confidence booster, as seeing your improvement over time can be very motivating. Before we move on, let's recall why phrasal verbs are vital. They are a core part of English and are used frequently in both casual and formal contexts. Having a good grasp of phrasal verbs will significantly improve your English fluency and comprehension. And that's why we need to assess how well we know them. 1. Quizzes and tests. These are traditional but effective methods. You can create flashcards with a phrasal verb on one side and its meaning on the other. Quiz yourself regularly and track your improvement. 2. Practical use. Try using phrasal verbs in your daily conversation or writing. Afterward, evaluate whether you use them correctly. 3. Peer assessment. Engage in conversation with a friend who is also learning English. Use phrasal verbs and ask for feedback. 4. Self-reflection. Keep a journal to note down new phrasal verbs you learn each day. Review and reflect on your progress weekly. Remember, the key to successful self-assessment is honesty. Be truthful about your understanding, and don't be afraid to identify areas that need improvement. That wraps up our discussion on self-assessment techniques for phrasal verbs. Remember, everyone learns at their own pace. So don't be too hard on yourself if you make mistakes or find some phrasal verbs challenging. The important part is to keep practicing and assessing your progress. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.